The equinox is defined as the instant in which the midpoint of the sun crosses the Earth's equator. This occurs twice a year in March and September. Following the March equinox, the northern hemisphere begins to tilt towards the sun and astronomical spring begins. This is known as the spring or vernal equinox. At the same time, the southern hemisphere will start tilting away from the sun because this is their autumn equinox. The word equinox is derived from the Latin for equal night. However, day and night are not precisely equal on either the spring or autumn equinox. This occurs on the equilux, the date of which varies depending on location. Typically, the equilux is around two to three days before the spring equinox and around two to three days after the autumn equinox. There are two main reasons for this. First, imagine the sun were a single point in the sky. On the equinox, the time taken between the sun crossing the horizon at sunrise and then again at sunset would be exactly 12 hours. However, the sun doesn't appear as a single point in the sky, but as a large disk. And sunrise is defined as the moment the top of the sun's disk appears above the horizon and not its midpoint. Later, sunset occurs when the top of the sun's sphere appears to dip below the horizon. The extra time in which only the top half of the sun is visible above the horizon adds around two and a half to three minutes of daylight at mid-latitudes. Second, sunrise and sunset are based on the appearance of the sun above the horizon and not on the sun's exact geometrical position. This is significant because of an effect known as atmospheric refraction. The variation in density of the atmosphere allows it to act like a lens or prism, bending sunlight above the horizon. This means that when the sun first appears in the sky at sunrise, it's actually still below the horizon. Atmospheric refraction adds around six minutes of daylight to locations in the mid-latitudes, but its effect varies depending on the weather. Lower temperature, higher humidity and higher air pressure results in more atmospheric refraction and a slightly longer day. The date of equinoxes also vary year to year from 19th to the 21st of March and 21st to 24th of September. A year isn't exactly 365 days long, but just under 365.25 days. This causes the equinoxes to drift later by around six hours every year until a leap year occurs.